Hello, my name is Mike, and I want to talk to you today about my idea. I have a pergola in my backyard, and I wanted to have a speaker set up so I could hear my music while I'm enjoying my pool area. So today I'm going to tell you about my idea and how I did it. So I started out by thinking, well, I want to have those really cool speakers that you see on ski dude boats you know people who go kneeboarding and things like that so that's what this speaker is they normally mount to a bar on the boat there's normally a clamp like this on the other side and a bar goes in here but as you can see i didn't do that so i started out thinking oh i'll just put a towel bar on this post here and mount it and that will be fine but as i thought about it i wanted the speaker to be able to pivot like this so i came up with this idea which is just inch and a quarter black steel pipe that you can get anywhere i chose inch and a quarter but there's other sizes available so you got your flange a straight piece 90 degree angle pipe another straight piece another angle pipe and this flange i had my brother drill holes in it extra holes in the flange to match the pattern of this marine speaker i got this set of speakers from amazon they're called rockville i have no idea if that's a good brand or not but they were $90 for the pair. And I thought that was fine and they can handle the weather. And I got two. So back to my pipe here. This was black steel pipe that you can get anywhere. I since had it powder coated by a friend of mine. So now it's all black, uniform color, and it should be rust proof. Um, if you're curious, this here is actually for the marine um, application. I think it goes around uh, the marine arch so that if the speaker were ever to come off in an accident, it wouldn't be lost. These are where the speaker wire hooks up to. It's not hooked up at the moment, but that will... That will um, be driven by an amplifier so i mounted this to my pergola post that's one and i have another one over here same thing pretty much this one i mounted to the front of the post and this one i mounted on the side and the reason i did that is because they are aiming right now at my pool area so I can listen when we're in the pool. But I also have a deck area over here. So if I want to listen from the deck, this pivots. And it's pivoting off of this thread right there. That's why I made one mounted in the front and one mounted on the side. So I can pivot like that. And I'll walk over here. I'll look back on them like this, and they're not in a direct line, which is what I was after. So you kind of still have a left and a right instead of one e completely exactly behind the other. So, like I said, they're not hooked up at the moment, but here is the wire down here. This is the speaker wire. When I had this patio put in, I ran the wire under the patio. And it comes out over here. And when I'm finished, it's going to run through that wall and into my garage. There's two wires. There's a conduit under the patio. And uh, by the end of the day today, I'm going to weave this cable speaker wire up the post and connect it right here 
And then my, my ultimate plan is for my carpenter, when he comes back, to run a um, groove with a router right down the middle of the post to hide the wire. And then I'll probably cover up the groove and the wire with just a little three quarter inch thin piece of cedar and just kind of tack that in there and cover that up. And I'll show you what's on the other side of my wall there. My amp is in the garage. So here we are, we're on the other side of that wall. Um, from This is where we were outside. There's the pergola. And now I'm inside my garage. This is my temporary cable that I've been running all summer. Um, that's gonna go. And then when I uh, put that exterior heavy duty speaker wire, wire through the wall, it's gonna come out right about here. And I'm gonna run it to this Sonos amp. If you have Sonos already, you know how awesome Sonos is, so I won't go there. I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but this is how I'm doing it. So this Sonos amp is hooked up to my household Sonos system, and I just labeled it pool area, and she cranks. So we're back outside now. Uh, I'm going to end this video after I hook everything up, so I'll end the video with uh, some music, some metal going so you guys can listen and see how it goes. So I am a boring uh, business owner, office guy. I have no expertise in anything I talked about today, but I make a lot of mistakes and I figured out a few things, so I thought uh, I could save you all some time by uh, not making any mistakes that I did. So um, for instance, I learned recently that the speaker comes with a pivoting mechanism. So you can buy them so they turn. But I didn't know that when I got these last summer. So that would save you a little bit. But ask me any questions below and I'm happy to answer them if I can. When the bell